Hi, this is Tyler with Outboard Specialty Tools, and today we are checking voltage on a Yamaha F300 engine harness and checking sensors as well to see if we have a problem with a shorted sensor that is robbing voltage from the overall system. One of the notorious culprits of this problem is the water pressure sensor, which you see here, which oftentimes will develop some sort of internal corrosion and cause major problems uh, robbing voltage from the rest of the harness. So right now, I have our test harness hooked into another pressure sensor very nearby. As you can see, we are connected in right here, and we have our speedo sensor disconnected. And we have put our test harness in the middle between the speedo pigtail on the main engine harness and the actual speedo sensor here in the pan. And we have a couple of probes go into our multimeter that are set into the pigtails on the harness tester test harness I should say and now we're going to check voltage over here at our fancy multimeter which is just a regular old uh, manual ranging multimeter which you can find in a lot of places and see what we can find oftentimes when you disconnect the engine harness from a bad sensor or a bad connection we can get the source voltage to go back up to something in the normal range. So right now we're reading at 453. We need to be reading normal Yamaha source voltage, which would be, which would be very, very close to 5.00. So let's see what happens when we disconnect. I'm going to pull loose our engine harness pigtail here at the water pressure sensor and see if our voltage comes back up. And this is a test that's done with key on power at the, uh, so you know, you want key on, engine off. Make sure everything's powered up, and let's see what happens when we disconnect here. As you can see, all I did was disconnect the water pressure sensor pigtail on the engine harness from the water pressure sensor, and voltage, source voltage jumped right back up within the normal range, which is 5.0 or something extremely close to 5.00 volts. And what we can see here pretty easily is our Water pressure sensor appears to have some internal damage. It's probably shorted. And let's look at our pigtail on the main harness, the engine harness rather. And you can see this guy looks pretty bad too. This is not normal. Um, and you definitely want to avoid seeing, you know, having any sort of buildup like this on these harnesses because it can spread issues back through the harness, give uh, faulty voltage inputs through the entire system. It can go back into the ECU and and the ECU is dealing with a voltage issue when it's trying to handle all of its other decisions. So it can easily cause uh, running issues. And so now the next step we are going to do is go ahead and use our shop manual and get uh, resistance ranges for the actual sensor itself. And we're also going to check the engine harness to make sure we don't have short to ground or any sort of issues like that. But as you can see, what we do have is normal source voltage and all we did was unplug the water pressure sensor. This is a common problem on Yamaha F, uh, you know, four series, four stroke series motors. This is uh, extremely common on F-150s and other horsepowers. This is a F-300, but it's not, it's not immune.